Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. So in previous couple of videos, we learned about uh, basic RNN model as well as LSTM models. And uh, in this video, we will discuss a bit uh, more efficient uh, uh, variant of RNN model, which is known as a uh, gated recurrent unit. Okay. So in, in LSTM, if we compare like how it is mainly different is that uh, in LSTM, we have a, a, a cell state, like it stores uh, information in a dedicated memory. And in, in, in GRU, we don't have that. So it is kind of a bit uh, better memory wise in general. Okay. And in that sense, it is faster to train. And also like when we train a model and save it, it will be a less uh, memory footprint. Okay. Okay, so let us look at like how the information flow is happening in in terms of like update gate and reset gate. Okay. Okay, so reset gate is actually here. You can see reset gate is uh, trying to uh, get a new state, which uh, is like uh, uh, we can call it a candidate hidden state. And it is uh, kind of coming from uh, ST minus one, which is multiplied by with a matrix and also aided with uh, uh, input information as well okay and next the output state the final output state we get is from uh, jt and 1 minus jt okay okay so let us dive in and uh, update our uh, vanilla rnn uh, to gru it is really state forward so we will rename it to let us say gru network Let us refactor it, and here we will simply rename it uh, nn.gru. Okay, and remaining parameters are as similar as others. And uh, let us first look at the parameters like uh, what are those parameters and how they look like. Okay, so let us run and see it. Okay, so here we have the input to hidden state which is like uh, as uh, similar to LSTM. The implementation is like a little smarter where we uh, batch the weight matrices. These uh, WIR, WIZ and uh, WIN in this uh, first matrix. So this, uh, this much is uh, the first part WI, um, WI, R and this is uh, WIZ and this is WIN. Okay. And similarly, we batched these matrices also here. So this is like uh, this much is uh, uh, WHR and this much is WHG and this much is WHN. Okay. Okay. So let us uh, run the full code and see what we get okay so in terms of model output it returns as the uh, hidden state as well as the um, final output okay so hidden state is like for each uh, after n inputs we get a new hidden state that will pass through the next step okay whereas the final output is like uh, each step we get a hidden state that will be output so if you have n words you will get uh, hidden states for n uh, words okay so it will be like uh, um, sequence length cross hidden size and if you have batch size it will be of that size as well okay so you can see model output is uh, batch size cross sequence length cross hidden size where uh, hidden is like uh, n layers cross bs cross hidden size okay and let us run and see it Now look at the output. So we have like uh, sequence length three and uh, best size uh, two. So we have like two sentences if we want. And each sentence has uh, uh, three words. Okay. And this 
is the representation for the first word this is the representation for the second word and this is the representation for the third word in the first sentence and similarly we have for the second sentence these are the representation for first second and third words respectively and this is the hidden state that is coming as a last uh, or the last output okay when we are exhausted our all the inputs then we the hidden state that is uh, 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 that is uh, we are getting it is also returned okay so that if we need to further process it or if you want to use it for further processing we can use it okay for example if you are this is mainly useful for a decoder where uh, we need the hidden state uh, to pass it to predict the next word okay okay so i think uh, that's all for gru um just to remember like uh, this uh, nt is uh, have uh, many names so uh, just don't confuse with it like it is in pytorch it is referred as new gate in few blog posts you will find it like current memory gate just don't confuse it it is like uh, it is in terms of uh, understanding I would say just consider it like a uh, intermediate uh, hidden state or a candidate hidden state which will further pass through with update gate to get the final output okay and another important aspect to remember is like uh, it is kind of a bit faster to train because you can see it has uh, less parameters to uh, compute okay and um, in most of the cases it is uh, quite comparable with lstm accuracy wise okay so uh, it is always uh, like uh, recommended to use zero if uh, uh, you can try both in terms of uh, uh, experiments so that you know that uh, which one is doing better but in most cases lstm and gru accuracy wise uh, quite similar and if it is similar accuracy wise so it is uh, more uh, wise to use gru because it is faster in terms of training as well as uh, inference also when we save the model it will be uh, less uh, memory size uh, to store okay in this video we will stop here and then in the next video we will start learning the current state of the art which is transformer models so thanks for watching bye for now take care see you in the next